everyone, Karen here. It is time for number 13, the next one in our series. So let's get started by going over all the pieces that are in the SVG that you can download by looking in the description. So first we have the card base, which will look like this. You'll just cut it out like this, fold it in half, just like the other ones. There is a shaped inside that says, congratulations, you are now officially a teenager. Because 13 is kind of a biggie. There is a mat for that. And we'll talk about how I colored this in a minute. Then there is a shadow for the happy birthday. And I have the letters in here. There is a 13, which is in three pieces. There's the inner part. There is the frame. And then the shadow. And this one I already put together to make sure it did go together the way I thought it was going to. And then here is a mat that's going to cover the whole front of the card. Now I decided to do a little bit of tie dye on this one because 13 can be a little tough. You're never quite sure, you know, it's kind of an in-between kind of age. So I thought the tie dye would be kind of fun. And I went with the numbers here that looked kind of three dimensional. So this is going to go on here and happy birthday is going to go down here. And then I decided I didn't want to use balloons or a cake on this one because you know 13 is a weird age I have some stars that we're gonna put on here and they're, they're gonna go down here like this so this is basically what we're gonna end up with so let me get this started and we'll start with the inside put these back over here now I ink this with Gina K's passionate pink tranquil teal and tangerine twist and I just went around because I started off with this white paper here and this is from Kingston and this is the big side of the print and this is the smaller side I decided I liked the smaller side and I just you know put some pink here some here and just kind of went around the whole thing with my brush just kind of started on one side and put some ink here and some ink over here and then kind of went back with the other colors and went over here some and just kept building up the color until I got it to the tie-dye look that I was looking for. So that's going to go in the front of our card. And I did the same thing with the inside piece. And I didn't do so much in the middle here because I knew I was going to cover that up. So let's glue this together first. And I'm going to use the neutral pH adhesive again. And so far I'm pretty pleased with this. I think I may have finally found a replacement for the Kal-El glue that is hard to find. And I will say this glue, it is a tacky glue, so it grabs pretty quickly, um, but it has no odor, and it does not wrinkle the paper. So, so far, so good. But it definitely grabs faster than the uh, Kal-El does. So let's take the inside of the card, because this is going to go in here. So let's glue this to the inside. And we'll put this in the middle. Now I will say the, um, the congratulations. This is the only part that was a print and cut. And you would do that just like you would do a print and cut with your machine. And I don't go over that because every machine is different. So just do it the way your machine, you know, follow your directions, because every machine's a little different. So I'm just going to glue this on here. And you could use solid, you could use a print for this. I just thought tie-dye might be kind of fun for 13. Okay, there is that. So now we have to decide what we want to put on foam and what we don't. So the three here is done. I'm just going to leave this here for now. Let me glue together this one. So I'll show you how it goes together. So I'm going to start off. Let me scoot that up. So we have the black part first. Now I'm going to take the outline, put a little bit of glue. Go all the way around little dabs. That should be plenty. 
And this will line up flush on the black, end to end, side to side. These are the same size. So just use your fingers, get it all lined up. And you want to make sure it is all lined up to make sure you have enough room to get the number one on the inside. Now I'm just going to put a little glue in here. I'm going to take the one and it's going to slide the one in the space. Just like that. And there you go. So let's bring this down. So this will be like this. And I think this is going to go up on foam. And it's a matter of what thickness. So these stars are in two pieces. These two have already glued together. So there's a, a shadow and then a little star. And these will just get glued together. And they are symmetrical. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue on the back here. And then this will get lined up. And just give equal spacing all the way around. There we go. All right, so one star will go here. One will go over here. And one's going to go up here. Like that. And I'm thinking I'm going to glue those straight on the card. So I'll put a little glue here. I'm not squeezing the bottle now. I'm just kind of spreading out the glue I put on there. And I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this one over here. And you just want to give it a little bit of a shadow around the edge. Just slide it right in there. This one will go on the top. And it goes in like that. So now I'm going to put some foam on the back of the one and the three. And I think I'm going to use the one sixteenth foam because I am going to put foam behind the happy birthday. So that will give it a one eighth thickness. I'll put some down here. Some over here. And maybe a little piece on either side here where it's a little wide. That should be good. And you know, if you wanted to, you could have glued the green and the black together and even put this on foam if you wanted to. I mean, there's really multiple ways to put this together. So we're going to do this like this. And then the happy birthday will be down here. Like this. Alright, so I'm not going to attach that. Do I have all the letters on here and I'm ready to attach all this at the same time to make sure I space it all, around, all out correctly? So I'm going to grab my fine tip bottle. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to keep using this. And let me grab happy, H-A-P-P-Y. All right, and I will speed this up as I glue all these on. So there is happy birthday. 
and I'm using glitter card, not glitter card, mirror card there. And for the background here, I did go over that one with the orange, which was the tangerine twist, because it's plain white paper. All right, so now let's get some foam and let's finish this up. All right, so these are going to go here. So I'm going to use the 1 8 foam for the happy birthday. But I'm going to put it across the birthday. And let's see how much of the happy. The happy's like halfway up. So I'm going to put this piece here. And then I'm going to grab some of the 1 16th put this across the top because this top part is going to sit on top of the 13. So I only need half the foam for that top part there. All right, so now let's get everything lined up and decide where we're going to put it and attach it all and be done. Okay, so these will be here and this will be here. This is kind of uh, cartoony looking. I kind of like it though for 13. You know, 13 is kind of in between. All right, so let's put this here. All right, so once again, this has one eighth. Um, thickness of foam on the back of it. And the bottom here will have an eighth on the bottom of the uh, behind the birthday, but the top part, the happy, will only have a sixteenth foam because it's going to sit straight on top of this. So let's get that lined up. There we go. 13, all done. It's very cartoony, kind of comic book looking, but I think that's good for a 13 year old. There you have it. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That's how YouTube counts everything. And if you want to see the rest of these, we still have a few more to go. Uh, subscribe and you can get a notification whenever these are done. And until next time, Stay crafty.